Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to talk about self-attention guidance. You will learn about what it can do for you, how does it work, how to use it in Comfy UI, and some guidance on parameter settings. Now, let's first look at what SAG does. On the left is the original image without SAG. On the right, it is an image with SAG turned on. Do you see the difference? There are some differences, but they are very subtle. In the original image, you can see the bow tie of the old man was not rendered correctly. And when you turn on SAG, the bow tie is fixed. And you may also notice there are some changes in the background. Sometimes the changes may not seem to be better or worse, but just different. Such as the sign above the store window. Overall, SAG tends to fix small details like this, but not changing the main subject or the global composition of the image. Okay, you know what SAG does. Let me explain how does SAG work. In stable diffusion, an image is generated by denoising a random image in the latent space. The latent space has very high dimension, like tens of thousands. Here I reduce the space to two dimension for illustration purpose. This is the diffusion process when you set the sampling step to 20. In the beginning, it takes large steps, and at the end, it takes smaller steps. The initial step sets the global composition. The final steps refine details. The direction of the diffusion is controlled by a process called classifier free guidance, or CFG. CFG guides the image to move to the space described by the positive prompt and move away from the space described by the negative prompt. SAG makes a small change to CFG by adding a small step. Now the diffusion step is the usual CFG step followed by a new SAG step. The length of these steps can be controlled by their scales, so the CFG scale controls how large the CFG step is. The SAG scale controls the length of the SAG step. SAG is based on a sampling process called blurring diffusion. The model uses a blurry image for the negative prompt. Because the fine detail are removed, it forces the model to focus on rendering the correct global composition when the process is the negative prompt. SAG goes one step further by using the attention map generated by the stable diffusion model. This forces the model to focus on fixing the area important to the negative prompt and leave the area described by the positive prompt alone. Okay, I will now talk about how to use self-attention guidance in Comfy UI. Uh, it is very simple. To do that, you will first need to find the self-attention guidance note. Uh, double click on the empty space and then search self-attention guidance. So you have added note. Um, so you see the input and output of both models. That means that you are going to put this note in the middle between the low checkpoint note and the case sampler note. So I'm going to do that. And then now you're done. So I like to set the scale to one and then the blur to three. And then I can run it by clicking the Q prompt. And then now you see the workflow is running and then you should see some very subtle but still notable difference, especially if you focus on the bow tie, so now you see that the bow tie has been fixed. So that's the way that you would do it if you want to add a self-attention guidance note, or you can go to the website uh, I provide uh, in the description below, and then you can go to the Comfy UI session, so you can simply download the workflow that has already uh, been made for the uh, with the self-attention guidance note added. And then you can simply drag that JSON file 
on the Comfy UI, and then you will have this self-attention guidance note ready to go. Let's go through some examples of SAG. The man in the background has changed. The woman, which is the main subject, stay more or less the same. Does the change make the image better? In this case, it is hard to say. But now you have a tool to treat the background alone. Here's another example of SAG. The sign that stick out in the background has changed. Again, the change is pretty neutral to me. But the sign on top of the woman does look more like English words, so I will take it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.